on to the program. This is your business morning. Let's get the show started for this Thursday, the 4th of October. I am Busan Nomafai. Thank you very much for finding time to join us. This is what our Thursday business and markets briefing looks like. So we'll, let's uh, kick off things as usual from here. The World Bank, as you may have heard, has trimmed Nigeria's economic growth forecast for the year 2018. And the new figure will be 1.9%. The Nigerian government has set on a very ambitious 2.3% GDP growth forecast for itself for this year. And the, the IMF uh, forecast is not so far from what the, about 1.7, 1.8% uh, shy of what the World Bank uh, has now released uh, just uh, yesterday evening. And that's where we are at the moment. That's the World Bank. How do we go? We we'll track all these forecasts and see where the economy really is heading for the year. Of course, the 2.3% of the administration has been described as overly ambitious. But there could be some good news, and that's what you see there. Oil prices continue to be bullish. Brent price remain bullish, running a pace. Two eighty-six dollars per barrel. In fact, as we're as we're on air right now, our crude oil Brent is trading at eighty-six dollars eleven cents. We've seen a bit of a tapering, zero point two three percent slowdown in that uh, space. So that's for December 2018 delivery, by the way. So oil price still holding to <clears throat> this new price level of $86 uh, a barrel. It's been a very strong rally due to geopolitical uh, issues in the main around the world. Meantime, a major uh, meeting on energy is going on in uh, Russia with the Secretary General of OPEC, uh, Brakindro, uh, also uh, attending and all the big weeks in the industry. Uh, back, back at home here, what do we have also on our briefing for today? The Chartered Institute of Stockbrokers is holding its annual meeting for 2018. The meeting for today is focusing on fintech as well as market deepening and what happens to the markets the morning after the 2019 general elections. All of that will be in focus for this meeting that will have hundreds of chartered stockbrokers and industry bigwigs speak to those and other issues. We'll have a brief of an, a brief of an insight into that uh, within the hour here on the program. So let's uh, keep that uh, for you. Then uh, what, what do we have? We have Nigeria, uh, EU economic relations uh, still on the focus. There's a conference taking place today in Lagos to uh, fleshing out on the existing relationship between the European Union and Africa's largest economy. Uh, meantime, about lunchtime, we're expecting uh, the central bank uh, officials and the bank CEOs meeting for their periodic bankers committee in Lagos to hold a media briefing. That will be in downtown Lagos today. So let's uh, keep that also for you. We expect to have that uh, in our news box later in the day. And just as the bankers committee is uh, holding, the central bank over the last uh, few days been releasing a raft of uh, information to the marketplace. The regulators released new exposure drafts on disclosure requirements for non-interest financial institutions. It's a very lengthy document. Uh, the uh, regulator is asking everyone in the industry to take a look at it, and those who may have comments, of course, know how to go about that. There was also another uh, exposure draft relating to, uh, re relating to issues around regulatory capital for uh, financial institutions, all that part of what the central bank has, uh, 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 is put out on the streets right now. You may want to go there uh, and check it out. Meantime, this is, of course, it's already in the news. A former director general of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Mr. Hayford Alile, has passed away. Uh, Mr. Alile, the Custom Street is remembering the former Director General of the Nigerian Stock Exchange who died yesterday, the 3rd of October. Uh, Mr. Alile, who is also known as Apostle Hayford Alile, led the Nigerian Stock Exchange as the Chief Executive Officer or Director General from 1976 to 1999, one of the longest serving head 
of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. When he was in office, that was a period of transformation for the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Efo Dalile was also in office during the first phase of Nigeria's privatization, what you call the TCPC, the Technical Council on Privatization and Commercialization, led back then by Dr. Led Zayad. Of course, some of those uh, privatized entities, uh, including banks, were listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Hefo Dalile was also uh, the head of the Nigerian Stock Exchange when 24 banks were closed in a single day in 1994. It was, it was also superintending the stock exchange when new listings were coming in, companies were coming to list on the exchange, including the early years of the central securities clearing system. The CSCS was put in place uh, in the early part of 1997. The late Alile was also, of course, will be remembered as a corporate chieftain. He was on the board of several big companies and he also had a stint at the Central Bank of Nigeria. Let's move on to the marketplace. Despite the negative sentiments on at the equities market, investors are doing what you call bargain hunting. And we keep repeating this all the time. If you're a discerning investor, you know where to look. Yesterday, despite the downside of the broader market, Zenit Bank made more than 1% gain. So what are investors looking for and how do they dig for it? Let's dig for more of the market information for our midweek. Temple Ashaju, our business and markets correspondent, is live to us now from our studios downtown at the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Temple, good morning. It's good to see you. Let's start on the side of the market. Bring us up to speed what we have. Bargain hunting despite negative sentiments. If you know where to look, you don't have to look too far. That's how the thing goes. Absolutely, boss, and good morning to you there. All right, yeah, you said it. Negative sentiment was what we had eventually in the market yesterday. Recall that we started the uh, 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 second show, Business Incorporated, talking about the level of movement that we've seen in the market. Uh, it, the kind of uh, negative sentiment we eventually saw wasn't anticipated.